didn't realize that your mom knew that you are doing cam work at the house. So this is the kind of like the frame that you would see when you're camming. Yeah, mm -hmm. It is a little scary camming mm -hmm. because you don't know who's watching you. And they're like, oh, what if I like broke into your house in the middle of the night? So I have like shimmy titties. Do you still call yourself a Mormon? I am technically still a Mormon. Was so... it like her pimp or something? Or no, was it no, a stranger? Just, yes, like I'm just like shaking, like even like thinking yeah. about it. So is someone home? Nice to, nice to meet, meet you. you. We did it. Yay! We're here. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank I'm you for giving me a platform. Of course, when you reached out, like I was so excited. This is perfect. Camming is something I've never done before, so I'm so excited to talk with you about it. Is Dove your real name? No. It's so funny because I meet all these girls that have an alternate name and then I learn their real name, but I always see them like I always see you as Dove because you look look like a Dove to me. Do I? It's perfect. I've had a lot of dancer names. Like Roxy was my first dancer name. I was Chanel for a long time. I've been Dove so, since I started camming. So you're a home alone right now, right? Or Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. it's just me. This is usually like the time when I can. This is where you grew up? Um, so we moved here when I was in high school. Okay. So my parents have lived here since. So and I grew up um, a couple of neighborhoods over. And so. and now you don't live here full time, right? Um, no, so I am here full time. I have been staying at my boyfriend's place, which is like right outside of downtown. Okay. Um, just because uh, he's out of town right now. And so I can work there whenever, which I, I'm kind of limited here. So I didn't realize that your mom knew that you are doing cam work at the house. She thinks it's more of like me just like stripping in front of the camera. I don't really get into like details about like what I'm doing. How did she find that out? I told her, you know, I just like, I don't want to hide it. My mom has always been supportive as long as I'm healthy and I'm happy. So you grew up in Utah. So did you grow up Mormon? My family would probably consider, they do, they consider themselves Mormon, but we're like what you call like Jack Mormons. Like we drink. My family history with the LDS community like goes back to like the pioneers. Really? Um, yeah. I don't follow the religion anymore. I was baptized when I was in seventh grade, but I think that was like more because I just wanted to fit in. Like this county is 78% LDS. So like it's like everyone you meet once i was 20 years old i moved to new york to be a nanny and i realized like wow like this is not how the world is like people are not mormon it's kind of like a bubble here everyone's super friendly super nice but there's like intentions to it like they want to be perceived as that behind closed doors they might like not actually be like those type of people do you still call yourself a mormon i am technically still a mormon but if they knew like what i did for work and everything um i would definitely be excommunicated i love it up here yeah this it's is big nice so, and this is my so this is where you do the camming? Yeah, so this is where I cam. I don't have my uh, camera and everything set up right now, but it's usually right here, and then I'll like set up all my toys right here. So this is the kind of like the frame that you would see when you're camming? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I usually have my camera set up like right here on this angle, and so I'll just like sit right here and- Do you use your Mormonism as kind of like a niche in the market for the camming, like that you're a Mormon girl? Um, so sometimes I, I'll say that, like I usually don't talk about where I live. Sometimes I do, but like- It is a little scary camming because you don't know who's watching you. Yeah. And then you're walking around town and someone could see you and be like, oh my gosh, that's mm -hmm. the girl that I watch camming all the time. Right. And you have no idea that they are seeing that about you. Yeah, I have that feeling like people are like watching watching me. Like they like probably like know what I do. On camera, like you don't know who could be watching you. I wouldn't want to give a too many details about like where I live because I like wouldn't want- so, Like I'm right outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there, and there have like totally been guys that have like, they have like uh, fantasies of like rape and stuff. And they're like, oh, what if I like broke into your house in the middle of the night and it's like a fantasy for them and I know they're just playing it up but like you know who knows if like someone could really have that in their mind and like what they would do you never know like what someone's intentions are how many hours a day do you work I'll usually do like two shows I'll do like a show during the day and then like if I can a show in the middle of the night they like kind of makes it difficult like living here with my parents and like if my nephew's here he stays here sometimes um, I don't feel comfortable doing it when he's here what percent did you give to the website the website takes 50 percent of like every token two thousand tokens is a hundred dollars for me and the and the website will make a hundred dollars off of that so is someone home 
Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm like, <laughs> why I have anxiety about like meeting your mom and her yeah. being like, oh my god, I don't know why, but she already knows. So it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, even if it's someone came home, I'd just be like, oh, this is my friend Matt. Okay, um, okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you ever get females in your room? Um, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, I like it, yeah. But you are, you call yourself straight, right? No, mm -mm. What, where on the spectrum do you say that you lie? Um, so my cam site says that I'm bisexual. I would probably be more pan. Um, I love everybody. I love so, that. How soon into the camming are you taking your clothes off? Because I've seen, like, those free cams, and it's, like, a lot of times just, like, baiting people until like they go into the private rooms or whatever yeah so i kind of do it like opposite of that like i'll start off in like just my panties because probably because i only have like a couple of hours where i can like do it so i'm like i want to like start making that money right away right mm -hmm. so um and you also get like people in your room through your cam score so like the higher your cam score is the higher up on the page you'll be like on the recommend recommended page i'll start topless you know like i'm not scared to show my body like i've been a stripper for like over a decade and then like if people aren't tipping me i'll like start putting my clothes back on so i kind of do it like the opposite and if a guy wants to go into a private room with you how is there a price to that like how does that work yeah so that's um 60 tokens a minute or a true private is 80 tokens a minute the 60 tokens a minute people can like spy in and like pay to like come and like watch in like your private show 80 tokens like no one can come in do you have any like relationships with certain people that always are paying you a lot and that you're always doing privates with definitely yeah, yeah does that get weird sometimes so like on my chem website you can buy um my like phone number like i have like a text app so i recently had someone that kind of got like a little weird with that he thought that we were going to date because he bought my phone number and then he would get like upset when i wouldn't text back like right away i could play into the fantasy but like just to let you know like I was like kind of getting like the feeling like oh like you're like thinking this is something a lot more than it is so I was like hey just to let you know I am dating someone but like I'm so happy to play into the fantasy and I really appreciate the friendship but you know that like, that's all it's ever gonna be I can pretend to be your girlfriend all day but like just like like it's not ever gonna be like anything more than that I ended up having to uh like cut him off because he just like got like way too intense I love to flirt I love to have fun you know like that's so fun i love that part of my job but i'm you know it's my job it is my job and that's how i make money and i think for the most part people understand that so this is my handmade truth or dare it's day. gorgeous yeah so i have like thank you so i have like shimmy titties and twerk and like yeah so i'll just have like a bunch of different does a guy tip you and that's why you draw one or how does that work yeah so they pay like so many tokens and then like yeah i'll draw like whatever and they and then like, yeah i do like whatever is on like the card do you watch other cameras like more popular ones to kind of get ideas on how to like maintain keep the people watching yeah definitely yeah you kind of like yeah i learned from like watching other girls and then you kind of just like get into your own flow like what works for me like um like where i have like a background in stripping like i really play on that you know so like people People like to watch me dance like, i love to tell like stripper stories like um like things with like customers like things that have happened in the club and everything like that there was a guy that came into the strip club before we opened and attacked um one of my dancer friends with a baseball bat and there's not there's no security to check if someone's bringing in a baseball bat it was before the club opened i think there was a bouncer there and my manager was there but like they keep the door open so that the girls can get in and out was so, it like her pimp or something or no, was no no um a stranger was, yes for no reason so he came into the club and she just happened to be sitting at the bar and he just started swinging. Girls were like cowering in the back room thinking that they were gonna be next. My manager ch chased him out of the club. A good Samaritan that was walking by came to help and he was beaten to death and the cops came. They were tasing him and he like wouldn't even go down. They were finally able to detain him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, that must have been very triggering in terms yeah. of your anxiety yeah i would go to the club and i would pull up into the parking lot and i would have panic attacks like i'm just like shaking like even like thinking yeah, about it yeah. and um and i would have to turn around and go home there's so many people out there that like don't even see strippers and sex workers as human you never know like 
who's gonna have it out for you or like who's just gonna see you as an object or like who wants to hurt you because of what you do they think that you're a bad person because of what you do and like she's lucky to be alive she'll never be the same do you think those experiences is what kind of led you to find camming to be like this is a safer environment i definitely think that that's like something that i like i feel really comfortable in my own room you know no one's going to follow me home but like at the same time i really miss like like touch that's my love language and i and i feel like that's something that i really provide for people in the strip club so and you don't get that on camera you know i'll tell people like during lap dances like oh welcome to touch therapy you know and i say it kind of jokingly but like it's the truth like you know like touch is so healing and i and i I feel like that's like something that I provide to people and that like I feel really good about. We all don't get enough of it, you know, and I, I would like to provide that for people and that is something that I really miss. This has been so interesting and enlightening. I have loved meeting you. It's been so fun. I really appreciate you. It's so fun. Thank you. Thank you. My time in Salt Lake City had come to an end and I am so thankful for the people that I met. Each person and their story resonated with me on a level that I was not expecting. The students at BYU who took a huge risk putting their voices out there on the episode in hope for change. Patch and his struggle with finding where he fits in this world. Molly Mormon and her love for performing and her deep desire to provide for herself and her daughter. Jinx and her drive to work at the club while paying her way through college. And Dove for her openness about her struggles with anxiety. I came to Salt Lake City not knowing that I would leave feeling so connected and oddly similar to the people that I interviewed. That's the beauty of the series for me that I can meet people from all different walks of life who have lived such a different life than me. And yet at the same time, I feel that we are so similar in so many ways. I hope you're subscribed and I will see you next week.